Ahoy everyone. Yeah. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... PSM First Mate Drakir at your service. And welcome back to Cross of the Dutchman, which, well, <laughs> Drakir wanted to see an extra stream of happen. So that is what we're going to do since, uh, yeah, we've done two times Indiana Jones. We we did one up <laughs> side quest with this game before and we did, uh, yeah, one Minecraft after or a bit of a Minecraft showcase, not a continuation of the current Minecraft world. So we will eventually move over to that one, since Rakia likes it a hell of a lot. And I yeah. do too. Okay, for now, uh, let's continue on. Uh, last time we started out as Pierre Donia, a character of Miss slash Legend. I don't know if he was actually real or not. I will have to look that up. But, uh, oh. but, uh, it's not over here again. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, short version is that the the air the land is being taken over by Saxon soldiers, and uh, well, you can guess how that is going with the locals when the soldiers are being dicks. And well, you can see on the left an example of them being dicks. Hmm. Yeah. And. By Saxon, we're talking about this is Saxony and not Anglo Saxons. Yeah. Here, we need to head back to the farm. Yes, good idea. No use standing around here anymore. And yeah, we we just rest we just cleared out every Saxon in the village of Kimsworth. Or was it Yeah, I can I believe Kimsworth is on the right and the other one is to the left and hello. Here, have you managed to save John and Sibrand? Yeah, I was just in time. Did any more soldiers attack the farm while I was gone? Yeah, we also saved two of our co... I wouldn't really call them conspirators, but resistance uh, allies from being hung like others. Yeah, I was just in time. Did any more soldiers attack the farm while I was gone? Just a few. We had cleared most of the Saxons and Wolf was able to protect Rinsia and me. You should get back to Kimsworth, Peter. I'll get uh, Wilk and head to the encampment on the road to Arwen. We need to organize ourselves against these Saxons in order to stand a chance. Yeah. Arum to the left, Kimsworth to the right, which is where the, well, the father is from. Oh dear. Look, I have to say, it, our goal is usually about uh, two main quests, main streams, and one or two. Uh, Side quest? Uh, did I get that right? About two main, two, uh, one or two side quests with the. Uh, oh. <clears throat> we call the. Uh, we're going with that for calling the name. The uh, main quest is the main series of games that we're currently uh, have scheduled for streaming, which is at the moment Indiana Jones and Lara Croft. And the side quests are well side games that we play on the side, uh, like this game and. Uh, I have Ori and the Blind Forest lined up as a safe, uh, as a fallback in case we end up going short with this. Yeah. Uh, yeah just games for variation. We... Yeah. Oh, sorry, go on. <clears throat> I wasn't going to add anything more to that. We also have side stuff going on like Minecraft and Valheim, but we'll see more when that pops up. And of course, we still need to continue on with Binary Domain and Borderlands as well. Yeah. I was just suggest that. We could do more main quests and side quests a week, depending uh, on our mood, of course. Yeah. And if uh, the people who we co-op with uh, are available or not. Uh, in most cases, we aim for about four strings a week. It's just I have three days, so yeah, might as well do extra. My dearest Rince, these are going to be difficult times. I understand. No turning back now, right? I'm afraid not. If we don't act now, we'll all be overrun for sure. Listen, I need you to stay inside. Lock the doors and don't open up for strangers. At least until I figure out how I can protect you. Rook, let's get near to the encampment. The others will be waiting for us. I don't actually remember how this game ends. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know too much about it. I don't know the basis of the legend, but I've never been told the... Well, if there's an end to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that... Mean to some... Attack, no. There has been some huge sword found in the Netherlands that they claim might have been his. Could be, since, well, you can see already how tall Pierre is, and that his blade is basically as long as he... Yeah. I don't know where these it's... feathers are coming from. Yeah, that might have been before. But, yeah, the... We do have swords over seven feet tall and all that, but most of them are usually been well ceremonial, decoration, just a show of display of uh, the skill of uh, someone smith. Let's see. Uh, I, I kind of didn't pay attention to any of the stats whilst I got the spin punch there, which shows that it is the least damaging of the specials with our fists. So, hmm. I'm thinking to just grab the staff here since it deals the most damage, but it also has the least range. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the swing here. I'm presuming at the moment we already have a staff that we were using. So I'm presuming we'll get a lot more hits with this. Yeah, definitely a lot more hits with that. Yeah, it may not have the same as damage, but the AOE. Yeah. The, anything that you could rank as trash mob will be thrown out the window. Yeah. Also, something that I like about uh, about Pierre's sword is that it it's just a giant ass sword. It's not like specially engraved or anything like that. It is, it's even already showing showing some chip damage, I think. Yeah, it already is. It, 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 it isn't like an overly fancy thing like you often see in games. Yeah. We've got quite I, I a thing going already. I kind of like that. Seems like a lot of people have joined us since I left. The Saxons have no idea what's coming to them. Okay, what is, what is causing those stutters? Is there something rendering on the background or something? Let's see, we have OBS, VC Face, Chatty Program, Voice Meter... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Discord. File Explorer was open, but that shouldn't be causing an issue. Let me just go over to the task manager and up the priority of this game some. Yep, it was running flawlessly last time. Yeah, uh, details, that should be the one. And then, yeah, Cross of the Dutchman. Set priority to high. There you go. That should hopefully fix some things. Maybe I should make that a bit of a common thing that I do to ensure that the game runs the best it can. Now that everybody is here, we need to discuss strategy. I'm no soldier, weird. Uh, what do I know? Uh, what do I know about strategy? It's not that difficult. We have some able men, but the Saxons will continue to outnumber us. We need to pick our targets and proper, uh, prepare pro uh, properly. We just started with Kimsworth, Aram, and there was another stutter, and anything in between. Once we secure the villages, we'll be able to set our next goals. So that did not help. We're ready to follow you, Pierre. Great hearing you're, um, you are willing to beat those bastard Saxons. Okay. Seriously, what is causing that? Yeah. I'm confused, but it, again, it did not do it last time. Yeah, and it's not taking up like a massive amount on the CPU or GPU at all. Uh, let me look. Performance, CPU is at a steady 44. Graphic at a steady 40-ish. I'll keep it open on this to see if there is anything spiking. Severant, how are you holding up? I need to select the game again. I've been worse, Pierre. Uh, have I ever told you that, uh, that I once made a bow from a branch and a piece of rope and then killed someone with it? I don't think rope makes for a good bowstring. Um, uh, there we okay, go. Okay, now it's running. Okay. I'd like to hear all about the details later. Yeah, something is going on and it's not causing any spikes. 
Hmm. Ooh, yeah. It doesn't seem to be causing it. Weeb? Uh, here, where? It's, uh, follow me quickly. You need to see this. Okay. Why did you bring me here? What do you need me to see? We pointed in the direction of the sea. Look, they're coming, he shouted. As Pierre looked out, uh, the w out over the water, he saw a squadron of ships sailing under both du Saxon and Dutch flags going in the direction of the crossroads. Okay. They wanted to take us by surprise, Pierce shouted. Not while I'm alive. Men, move to the crossroads. Now. The men rushed to the crossroads as fast as they could. They knew that this would be their greatest challenge yet. Hmm. I'm seeing some spikes on one of the discs for some reason. Maybe that's... Let's see. It looks like the first troops are already going ashore. We have no time to lose. Oh, yeah. That... Okay. It seems that some something is causing spikes on the discs or something. Not the, uh, game, not the game disc or anything, since this one is installed on... <laughs> through Steam. But on the, the SSD. Okay, that sounds concerning. It's just played out. And that's it, Dutch and Saxon. Okay, and now I wonder, which part of Netherlands is Dutch? Hmm. Uh, Dutch is just general, uh, of the meaning talking to... Um, Referencing to the people and the language. So, Frisia is a bit of... It isn't that they are a completely separate state or such, but they are highly independent. Uh, they are not... Mm, what would be the wording? It's not like they're the Texas of the Netherlands or anything like that. Sending him to swim. Let's Okay, this seems yeah. to have calmed down. I say that there's another spike. Yeah, if you're missing some coins. Thanks for all your help. Okay, what the hell is up with all of this? You should stay here and make sure they don't take this farm back, weird. Yeah, uh, Reed and I will help uh, out the others. Uh... Let's try for another checkpoint when it's loading, and then just close down and start up the game again. Maybe jostle it back into functioning properly. Yeah, sometimes it may help to just restart a game. Okay, we're a bit locked in. Okay, we can go through now. We're not sure if we couldn't earlier, but oh well. Stop the reinforcements coming from the ships in the north. Hmm. Do gotta wonder who had time to make uniforms for all of these people in the short time that this has been going on. Yeah! you curious. Yeah, once this chapter is done, we should be safe to just get out and back in. Yep. <laughs> okay, you actually got too intense that I'd have to pause. Hmm. 
thought we could knock out the, the brown-headed ones with one blow before. Yep, back into the sea, all of you. Hmm. There we go. There we go, yeah. Here, thanks for saving me. Secure the ships, make sure no one returns them to the sea. Free real estate. Now free Seabrunch from the soldiers, okay. Hmm. And now my, one of my feet is falling asleep. So that's another nuisance added up on things. Oh dear. And wait, Saxons came, these Saxons came with the Dutch from the sea. The Saxony I know has no sea. I'm going to guess that we're, we'll be told what is going on. But it feels like a... Yeah, a bit of a team-up going up against the, the lot here. I'd have to check out when uh, there was the full unification of the Netherlands. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes place before that. Okay. Grab the loot. Here, I would have been dead if it hadn't been for you. Stay alert, there's bound to be more of them around. I'm just having some hiccups due to poor render uh, optimization or something. Or is it is it actually getting a bit too intense for the game engine to run or something? Me before. Let's be honest. We haven't fought this many foes before. Uh, it, it's not just foes. It, we had a bunch earlier, but it's also that we now have to deal with allies as well. So that's and that's adding up a lot of processing power on the uh, <clears throat> on the AI as well. We've cleared the area. Well done, everyone. Okay. And one last assault. Hmm. Now I wonder if the word assault has anything to do with. Uh, I believe back in the day, soldiers used to be paid with salt in the Roman legions and such, and that is where... Oh, that has a lot of reads. That is supposedly where you, the word soldier also originated from. Now I wonder if it might also be have a connection to the word assault. Like getting attacked by a soldier or something. I heard different. And... Oh, we get set back here. Okay, now we know at least where a checkpoint is. Yeah. So also, a quick restart. I heard so there was more relation to uh, one of the gods, a god in Rome. Okay. And a god of soldiers, hence soldier. He was the name of Sol? Sun or something? I think stream might be glitching in general because for some reason parts of it are being unresponsive so i'm guessing that has a part to play so i'll just exit steam as well and just start it back up just to be extra sure that nothing is screwing around with anything okay restart my okay i can act i can access the friends list again settings to do not disturb don't do that Okay, continue. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, now the disc is having no trouble at all. Just zero percent. Okay, so I guess it was just some kind of hiccup on Steam's end. Yeah. Okay. I really do... Almost... Almost never have problem with Steam. 
Yeah, it is, it is very rare, but it, it does happen every so often, like once in a few months or so. But not for me. For me, it's more like... Maybe it only happened once or twice. Okay, we've seen this. Also, I did not see that there is a chest hidden back here. So let's just grab that quick. I did have an issue with playing to the one with two for a while, but that was not Steam, but more of uh, some faulty patch. They had to patch a uh, fix uh, with some patches so, so people were able to play again. So, so the patch needed to be patched. Yeah, basically. But then, uh, yeah. I don't think I even have problems with Steam. At least not that I remember. Okay. Here's all of you lot. And yeah, we, we, we're going to need to focus on archers. Since, well, they're a lot more dangerous to escape from. Okay, now we now we can take them out in one hit again. Okay, yeah, some, something definitely was going wonky then. Holy! Mass burial, let's see this time. Okay. Yes, it, it looks to me like Steam was just uh, having an issue. It's resolved now, at least. We should also make these fights easier. Okay. Go. <laughs> okay, that was a bind. Yeah, wait. Mm, I may have one some months ago with Steam, but I will need to restart my computer and my Steam start to update so it work just fine again. Okay. Yeah, that, that can also just be a, a thing at times. Steam has been having a few updates recently on my computer, so it could just be that something just disconnected improperly or something. Yeah, and I think what happened was uh, that normally when I stop my computer, if it updates it itself, its programs automatically on start. But I feel like uh, I think what happened happened on that day. Steam released a, a special patch that needed to be done early, and due to I didn't know how to how to update itself normally, it, it, it just did itself update. I just restart the computer with initiating the updates. Okay. So, yeah. Again, I don't really had any proper technical difficulty. Come on, get into position, old man. There we go. Yeah, now we just gotta deal with the masses. You lot are a danger. Okay, just a, a wall of archers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this swing is definitely good against the... Uh, whenever the enemies are clumping together like that. Yeah, it, it, it just has a massive amount more reach than the... I, I think the way you could go with this is have the sword be wider strikes, but not as strong, and swap to fist for single targets takedowns. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that was all of them. Weird, we barely made it out alive. The first stand of the resistance against the soldiers. We need to go back to the encampment, see how many survived. Tomorrow we bury, we bury the dead. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, that would, I would advise that to be the case if the combat was uh, more, a bit more deep than it is at the moment. It is mostly just swing, swing, and run away. <laughs> you don't want to get hit in turn, since for every hit we deal, we mostly get hit back as well. Yeah, uh, this kind of feels like there is, like there is a armor mechanic missing, so to speak. Yeah, the defense or evasion. Here, the army has been overrun by soldiers. They're sacking the place. Last, some of them have gotten through. I'm going in. Chapter nine, fall of Kimsworth. It's it's Arum where we're heading. Also, don't ask me where either of those cities m may be or have been. <laughs> I don't know if there's still actual places or not. Would it be comical if Arum is the only for Amsterdam? Yeah, we're not that close. Yeah, this is more oh. in the west of the country, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot that part. Several soldiers managed to escape from the onslaught of the resistance fighters. They made their way through Arum and started burning it to the ground. They killed all those who ran out of their burning homes. Gee, give people any more reason to resist, dumbasses. Everything is burning. We need to see if we can still save some of the villagers. This doesn't look good. I fear the worst. Let's go. Less talking, more action. Yeah, the, the people that uh, occupy, the, the thing that's occupying forces throughout history never seem to get is that terror tactics just don't work. Like, the only way that terror tactics will work is if you actually eradicate everyone who can resist, and then it's not terror tactics, then it's just complete eradication. Where is everyone? These things usually just spread rebellions more and more. Just you left. I fear there are no light survivors left. We will make sure that there will be no uh, survivors among the soldiers either. still have a stamina upgrade. The soldiers have no one alive. Look, that's a lot of archers. Yeah, I think mean you used that skill a bit too early there. Yeah. Why is he not using a weapon? Probably because they, they there aren't any size for him. We're too late. Everyone, everybody's gone. We need to head back. Uh, 
that coin so I, I think that's a stock food stock food whatever you call it sound that you can he hear many games use yeah, the stock effect that stock effect thank you nope I don't mind stock effect as long as you don't use too much that's what they use where it made sense like coin sound then yeah you might have said use stock effects yeah Geertz. Oh, yeah, one of the Geertz going on. Really? Here, they've tricked you, Geert moaned as he lay injured on the ground. They took me for dead. I saw them heading in the direction of Kintwards. They were burning everything in their paths. You need to hurry, Pierre. Hundreds of people will perish if you don't help them. Yeah, and they're heading straight through the encampment for that. Yeah, we are... This is a bit of a sad reality of a lot of resistance fighting, is that, yeah, we are going to be outnumbered and outmanned sooner or later. Because it's a lot easier for big armies to refill their numbers. Yeah, and resistance fight is, uh, are usually more of a, I don't know, can real attack this and all that. I don't do too much open field battles. One last survivor. That was the last one. You'd better find weird now. I still don't know how to, what the full pronunciation should be. What happened? We got ambushed. I think their plan was to lure you away so they could take us on. The remaining soldiers went in the direction of Kinsworth. You, you were with me the whole time, so when did you get ambushed? Oh, and we're back to this bunch. Seabrands, you know, weeb, weeb. It's not weeb. <laughs> or at least it's a, I hope it's not weeb. Oh dear. And I guess there's an oversight of the developers. Great heavens, they've torqued everything. We need to see if Rinses are right. Uh, this is just now a full-on war. Also, hmm, did, did the Dutch already have that flag that they have now around this era? Uh, one likely difference with it would be that the red would. Uh, would be orange, probably, but that was changed to red at one point <clears throat> because it kept uh, it kept fading out because of the uh, the salt in the air. What the heck are those soldiers <laughs> doing on my land? Dying. That is what they were doing. Okay. <laughs> Almost cleaved your own wife in half. Here, I heard noises. Luckily it was you. The situation is too dangerous. The people of Kimsworth you know, will have to take care of themselves. You can't do that, Pierre. You really should help the villagers. And don't worry, I can handle myself. I'll take good care of Gerlof and Wobble. We'll be alright. Wobble. No. I need to make sure nothing happens to you and the kids. Prince is right, Pierre. We really need to, uh, to help the people of Kim's words. We can't, they can't fend for themselves. I'll ask a couple of our men to help protect Rince and the kids. All right, let's get it, uh, let's do it like that. Thanks, Weird. Now go. I guess there's no other way then. Stay safe, my dear. I'll be back as soon as possible. We're waiting for you with open arms. Also, is... Is Wobble really a name? 
Not anymore to my knowledge, but my knowledge is limited. So it could very well be that it's still used common a lot in uh, some areas. And like I said, Frisia is a bit of a uh, an odd, a bit of an odd duck compared to the rest of the country. If it is the same Frisia that I'm thinking of, it, we're in the same uh, region still as I'm thinking of. Like there is a whole second language. Mo no, it's mostly called a dialect, but it's so different you might as well call it a language. Called. Uh, uh, it, I guess it would just translate to Frisian. I'll actually double check it after we're done. Yeah, we have a few dudes in Sweden. Uh, for some reason, when they plan to do the Swedish dub of Mir Turtles, the old one, I don't know which one of the guys I picked, but uh, it was not uh, the most common Swedish at all. So when I heard it, someone showed me, I was going, went, wait, this is Swedish? I don't recognize it at all. They've burned down the mill. This is horrible. Okay, that's going That's going to cause flooding. Even if we win, we are going, we are going to need to deal with the water still. You. Doesn't look good like this. We got outmaneuvered. I just realized I'm eating a Dutch. I just ate a Dutch pear. I mean, Here, we have, we, we, we have to retreat. There are simply too many of them. They are holding the villages, ho villages hostage. We'll get the reinforcements. Of course. So just murdering them all isn't enough. Oh, no, there's a hill. There's a whole pack of them here. At least there was until they met the cross. I'm, I'm still not sure if it's actually called or referred to that, to that as such, but... Oh well. Run. I've been a cross of here or something. Well, cross of group. Grotte. I hope I say that right. Grotte pier. About, right? If, if there was a bit more depth uh, to the combat, it could be a lot more fun. Yeah, like, it is like a hack and slash, but a bit more basic than that. Yeah. Uh, that one's closest. Like, we only able to use one special bit at a time piece a bit. Hmm. I feel like they should add, like, we have a special attack. Block and parry or something. Or at least something to be more evasive. Go. Save your songs. Okay, last batch. Okay, that was a bit of waste. Okay, that's the last of them. Thank me later. Spear chased the last of the soldiers out of Kimsward. Something caught his eye. Of 
across the fields in the distance, he could see smoke billowing from his farm. What's going on here? I'll kill all of you if I... <clears throat> I'll kill all of you if you... If you have hurt my family. Get this peasant. is really burning. Out of my way! On my way. Prince. Prince, I'm I'm here. came to the building re burning remains of what used to be his farm. Suddenly he stood as if nailed to the ground. Rinse, Pio shouted with a voice so loud it could be heard from, mi from miles away. There, under the burning rubble, lay the lifeless body of Rinse. Pio pulled her from under the debris, but his efforts were in vain. Frantically, he tried to find his children. Wobble, girl off, he shouted. Wobble heard the sound of her father's voice. Daddy, she cried. Wobble, thanks to heaven, you're right. Pierre did not finish his sentence as he saw girl off's bloodied hats lying on the ground. Pierre's life was torn to shreds. As he stood and watched how the flames consumed his home, a different fire raged in his eyes. If only he had stayed with his family, if only he had been more careful. He wanted to scream, but he was unable to make a sound. His grief turned into anger, and his anger into hate. That day on, the farmer Pierre Gerl of Sidonia was no more. The man who came to be known as Pierre the Great was born. Pierre swore to revenge the death of his wife and son. Hundreds of men joined his army of rebels. They fought all those who opposed them. During the years of war that followed, Peter the Great struck fear in the hearts of his enemies. He became known as the King of Frisia, the helmsman of death, and something else. It, again, the, the text just goes too fast sometimes. He said Cross of the Dutchman. Yeah, likely. Title drop, finally, at the end of the game.
that was a sad ending. And so I expected it to happen earlier in the story. Uh, yeah. Uh, Triangle Studios, who have only made one game besides this, it seems. And yeah, you are going to see a hell of a lot of Dutch names here. Uh, it is an effective little story, though. Actually, yeah, whilst this is running, let me actually look up uh, Pierre the Great or go to Pierre to see how much if the how much there is of history and how much of legends. Wilhelm Frelich. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, a letter with two dots. Nobody had to pronounce that letter though. Pierre Gail of Sidonia. Let's see. Okay. 1480 to 1520. So Frisian rebel leader and pirate. Okay. Best known by his West Frisian uh, nickname Grutte Pier, or Big Pier. He had Swedish translation! <laughs> okay. And Danish! Dutch translation. I'm, I'm guessing they started it in Frisian. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, Spouse, Rintje, Seert Sema. Okay. European fund of labor, uh, labor fund for uh, for farming development. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why that specific bit is in Dutch. His life is mostly shrouded in legend. Okay, mm -hmm. wrote that. Tower of a fellow as strong as an ox, of dark complexion, dark broad shouldered with long black beard and mustache. And uh, out of personal revenge for the bloody injustice that befell him in 1515. Alright. Steam communities. Superhuman strength and size. <laughs> okay. In 1791, uh, wrote that above the portico, uh, porticus of the new city hall of Leeuwarden, two remarkably large swords were found, which were said to have belonged to Pierre uh, Grote Pierre and Weird Jack uh, Yelksema. Okay, that is his last name. Uh, Yel uh, Yelkama. Okay, right, so, so eventually just... they did get a sword for him. Alright, so that, that was supposed to be the two swords I was thinking about then. And apparently one of them is on display in the you know the Frisian Museum in Leeuwarden. It measures right. two meters, <laughs> seven feet, and weighs six kilograms, or six point six. Quite a lot of weight. <laughs> In popular culture, uh, of all tele oh, television. In the 1970s uh, Dutch series Floris, which was a series follow a live action series of the time, following a knight called Floris. Uh, oh, apparently he was a main character, or <clears throat> here that is. And in 22nd episode of season 9 of Forged and Fire, the uh, supersized swords, the final challenge was to have two contestants forge a replica of Rutapir's seven foot sword. Okay. That, uh, that I must have missed. I knew they have some videos on the YouTube. Okay. And yeah, I, I guess we 
we went through the game a bit faster than expected since it took me three and a half hours previously to get through. But yeah. I, I think there definitely would be room for a sequel of this game. Cover his time as a rebel leader and pirate. Um, and yeah, continue the story from there on. Uh, though... Hmm, I, I, I don't think this... I haven't seen here yet anything about his death. And I'll avoid that in case there is ever a sequel to this made. But uh, yeah, just up the... Uh, just up the combat mechanics a bit with a, a block or a, a dodge roll and it would definitely be no it wouldn't be a, it would be a little less frustrating than just needing to run around and getting stabbed in the ass by archers and killed that way yeah Maybe a small healing system or something yeah, either way first short right? game it was still very good yeah still a very nice little game but now we have to cross it out of the list and move on to the next. Yeah, which one was it we were to go now? Uh, I have a few prepared, so we can make a choice if you'd want to. Well, uh, we it have... was your pick this time. Okay. Um, hmm. I, I kind of want to go... Uh, I kind of want the first stream of Ori and the Blind Forest to be a long one. So, how about we pick another game I have installed that I actually haven't played through myself yet, but I have played through the sequel. And... Oh. I will need to change the... I will need to change one of the sources for that. And I also need to stop the recording here, so just stopping that in three... Uh, uh, of course... Uh, first off though, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, yeah, see you next time or in just a few minutes, <laughs> not not in just a few seconds as we continue uh, yeah, on with uh, the next game. Yeah, be safe for and see you very soon. <laughs> Come on, stream deck. <laughs>